there's a lot of discussion about 60-60. Now, first of all, we get a lot of people that get our unit and they go, oh, I'm going to set it to 60-60. Well, the two readings on the unit, the first is the dry bulb temperature, so they set that at 60. But then they set the dew point to 60. Well, when the temperature is 60 and the dew point is 60, you are at 100% relative humidity. You're at saturation. You've created fog. That is the perfect conditions to take everything you put in the unit and turn it into one moldy, gooey mess. So you can't confuse 60% uh, relative humidity with a 60 degree dew point. Now, we've looked into trying to find the origins of where did this 60 60 come from? Well, we do know that a 60% relative humidity will equate back through a bunch of equations to a 0.6 water activity. So there's some, some science behind that. But the 60 degree temperature, what we can surmise is when people started putting it in rooms with air conditioners, if you brought it into your bedroom and you hung the flower up and the thermostat was set at 68 degrees, and the compressor ran for a couple of minutes every, you know, couple of times an hour, well, it wasn't running long enough to dry the air because it's only taking moisture out of the air when the compressor is running. So how do we solve the problem? They would turn down the thermostat to force the compressor to run as much as possible so it was actively removing moisture from the air. Well, if you look at most... Uh, mini splits with wireless remotes or air conditioning thermostats, they only go down to 60 degrees. So is there science behind the 60 degrees or is the 60 degrees because that's what most thermostats will only go down to, which was it was set to to force the compressor to run to constantly remove moisture from the air. We haven't really gotten to the source of where that came from, but Pretty much everything we've come up with leads to that, that's the limit of home thermostats where you are hanging your flower to try and dry it. That's interesting. Yeah. Anybody who I really have talked to over the years have told me, hey, 60-60, that's the best way to dry it. Even the commercial facilities implement that and they're using the 60-60. But is that really the best way or is that kind of like a bro science technique where there's really no studies to back it up? That debate still goes on today, for sure. It's, it, it was the best that was available. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.